Welcome to the demonstration of a world novelty, a linear motor slider which can feel forces. My name is Tamara Custer and I'm a member of board and marketing and sales manager for the company Jenny Science based in Switzerland. It is a great pleasure to introduce to you this latest innovation from Jenny Science, the force process functions of our Xenax servo controller. With this force functions, the compact direct drive linear motors ELAX act not only as linear positioners, but also as force sensors. In this 3-axis configuration, we see our ELAX EX30 F20 as a vertical C-axis with a spring-operated weight compensation, so that the slide does not fall down even if power is interrupted. The process of this application is to close a water bottle's lid in an automated pick-and-place assembly. In this process, the motor has to sense the force being applied during the movement. In the end, a simple digital output differentiates between a good and a bad part. Before using the force functions, we need to run the patented function force calibration. We will demonstrate this with our web browser user interface called WebMotion, where we start the force calibration process. It compensates all the undesired forces like the magnetic cogging forces, the friction forces and the application's payload in case of a vertical installation. Being freed of all those forces, the slider of the motor is perfectly balanced and in a floating state. This calibrated state is fundamental to precisely measure the real forces which are applied to the linear motor by the application process. In order to be able to determine if a process has been completed correctly, we can define up to 10 force sectors with which we would like the force weight curve to comply with. In our example, we are defining two sectors. Sector 1 checks if there is a lid on the bottle and that the lid is applied with a force between 2 and 3.5 Newton within a distance of 3.3 to 4.7 mm. The force weight curve has to enter the force sector from the left or the bottom side and has to exit at the bottom or the right side. Sector 2 checks if the force falls after the lid has snapped. The weight force curve has to enter the sector from the top and exit at the bottom. Before we start the program, we can record the waveforce diagram in our WebMotion user interface. As soon as we start the process by an input, the curve will be displayed in real time. We have programmed the result of the process to digital outputs which are signaled by the LEDs on the I.O. box. Signal 1 means that the process was correct. To have a look at the four sectors in the diagram, we need to select the correct drive info. Then we check the corresponding four sectors so we can see if the force weight curve did run through correctly. When we automatically inspect the placing of the lid, we also have to take into consideration that the bottles can differ in height. The according command in the WebMotion program allows to address this issue and makes sure the sector acts relatively to the touching position. This is where the slider touches the lid for the first time. We refer to this as sector offset. In our example, we can see that even though the bottle was placed higher, the output still signals that the lid was applied correctly. And having a look at the force weight diagram, the sectors confirm the positive result. The force process function is of course also able to signal if there is something wrong with the process. In our example, we block the opening so the lid won't be able to snap onto the bottle. Output 5 will tell us that the lid is blocked. When we check the wave force diagram, we can see that both sectors were not passed correctly. Also, sector 1 was correctly entered at the bottom, it exited at the top, which means that too much force was applied. On the other hand, we can also see what happens when the lid is missing. In that case, the linear motor does not detect the touching position and the sectors never apply. The missing of a lid is programmed on output 3. And this is our way to respond to the constantly rising demands on linear motion technology. On the one side, the products from Jenny Science master all challenges in mechanical engineering. The compact size contains an excellent force to volume ratio. On the other side, new applications become possible. By internalizing inspection processes into the linear motor, expensive external sensors become redundant. 
With the Linear Motion products from Jenny Science, you can exploit the full potential of your products while reducing the costs, increasing the quality, and boost your factory output. Thank you and goodbye.